Over the generations, Elk Grove area citizens have fought and died in many U.S. conflicts around the world. So that they are not forgotten, we present their names. World War I Mark N. Whiteman was born on July 9, 1890 in Union House, a town near today's intersection of Franklin Boulevard and Mack Road. He was in the Elk Grove High School class of 1909. He entered service on April 1, 1918 and was assigned to Company C, 182nd Infantry Brigade, 363rd Infantry Regiment of the 91st Infantry Division. Arriving in France, Mark became part of Pershing's big push to end the war. He died from gunshot wounds on October 3, 1918, on the battlefield in the Argonne Forest of France, just a month before the armistice. He was buried in the Meuse Argonne American Cemetery. His remains were returned home on September 17, 1921, and he was reinterred in the family plot in the Sacramento City Cemetery. He was 28. Charles E. Walther was born in the community of Bruceville, Franklin Township on January 21, 1890. Charles was an accomplished musician and could have chosen military service in the Army Band, but instead, as he said, he would shoulder the musket. Not long after arriving in France, he was burned by mustard gas and was in the hospital in Cormont when the building was bombed by aircraft, wounding him afresh. Less than 100 days after arriving in Europe, and a mere six weeks before the armistice, Charles was killed in battle in Argonne, France on October 1, 1918. He was buried in the Meuse Argonne American Cemetery, but three years later his body was returned from France. He was reinterred with full military honors on October 30, 1921 in the family plot in the Elk Grove Cemetery. He was 28. From World War II, Cooper T. Tahara was in the Elk Grove High School class of 1939 and was inducted into the United States Army in 1941, serving as a private first class in Company I, 3rd Battalion of the segregated Japanese American 442nd Regimental Combat Team. While Cooper was fighting in Europe, the Tahara family was incarcerated in Arkansas. They were released in April 1945, but during their incarceration on November 5, 1944, in France, near the German-Austrian border, Cooper was killed in combat by sniper fire. For his gallantry, he was awarded the Bronze Star with Oak Leaf Cluster and the Purple Heart. Cooper was interred in the American Military Cemetery in Epinal, France, but his remains were brought home on March 9, 1949, with burial in the Sacramento Memorial Lawn Cemetery. He was 20. Daniel Feichert was a private in the United States Army 22nd Infantry Regiment, 4th Infantry Division. He grew up in Point Pleasant, worked on the family farm, and enlisted in April 1944 at the Presidio in Monterey. He was married in July 1944, just before being deployed to Europe. Daniel died December 3, 1944, in combat in Luxembourg. He was awarded the Purple Heart. Daniel is buried in the Henri Chapelle Cemetery in Belgium. He was 23. Elroy F. Rieger was a PFC in the United States Army 119th Infantry Regiment, 30th Infantry Division. He grew up in Point Pleasant, was in the Elk Grove High School class of 1943 before enlisting in June 1944. Elroy was wounded in battle in December 1944 but returned to service in February 1945. He died in action on March 24, 1945 near Koblenz, Germany and was awarded the Purple Heart with Oak Leaf Cluster. Elroy is buried in the Netherlands American Cemetery in Margraten, Netherlands. He was 20. Hubert T. Feichert was a private in the United States Marine Corps, Company G, 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines, 6th Marine Division. He grew up in Point Pleasant and, with only a grammar school education from the Carroll School near Franklin, he enlisted in the Navy and was transferred to the Marines in July 1944. 
Hubert was wounded in combat on Okinawa on May 20, 1945, and died on May 21, 1945. He was awarded the Purple Heart and is buried in the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific in Punchbowl, Honolulu, Hawaii. He was 20. Charles R. Chalmers was born April 6, 1926 in Elk Grove. Charlie graduated from Elk Grove High School in June 1944. He was inducted into the United States Army also in June 1944 to be assigned as a replacement soldier in the Philippines to Company B of the 148th Infantry Regiment of the 37th Infantry Division. In mid-June 1945, Charlie was wounded and on June 20, 1945, one year after graduating from Elk Grove High School, he died of wounds and was buried in the military cemetery near Manila. On July 24, 1948, his remains were returned to Elk Grove and he was buried in the Elk Grove Cemetery. He was 19. The Korean War DeRoy F. Kammerer was born October 11, 1927 and was in the Elk Grove High School class of 1945. In early 1951, DeRoy was drafted into the Army and trained as a medic. On July 31, 1952, on the Imjin River, just inside the North Korean border at Outpost Kelly, near a place called Double Horseshoe, DeRoy Kammerer was killed in battle. He had spent his days in country on the front lines tending to the wounded and the dying of his platoon. He did not carry a weapon. Instead, he carried bandages, medications, tourniquets, and splints. His job was saving lives while those around him took lives and were fighting to keep their own. With grief-stricken determination, arrangements were made for DeRoy's return and burial in the Franklin Cemetery with full military honors. He was 24. Shogo Iwatsuru was a PFC in the United States Army, Company C, 23rd Infantry Regiment, 2nd Infantry Division. He went to Pleasant Grove Elementary and was in the Elk Grove High School class of 1947. During World War II, he and his family were incarcerated, first in Arkansas, then in Colorado. The family was released in 1945. Shogo entered service in Elk Grove on December 19, 1950. He was wounded by a missile in the Battle of Bloody Ridge in North Korea and died of those wounds September 6, 1951. He was awarded the Purple Heart. Shogo is buried in the Veterans Section of the East Lawn Memorial Park in Sacramento. He was 20. The Vietnam War Era James Allen Belleville was a PFC in the United States Army as a light weapons infantryman in Company B, 3rd Battalion, 12th Infantry Regiment, 4th Infantry Division. James died on November 19, 1967 of hostile action in Kwantung Province after three months in country and was awarded a Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. He grew up in Florin and was in the class of 1963. James is buried in the East Lawn Southgate Cemetery in Elk Grove. He was 22. Wayne D. Heinz was a corporal in the United States Army as a light weapons infantryman in Company B, 1st Battalion, 12th Cavalry, 1st Cavalry Division. Wayne died June 10, 1968 of hostile action, small arms fire in Quantry Province after three months in country and was awarded the Air Medal, a Bronze Star, and the Purple Heart. He grew up in Florin and was in the class of 1964. Wayne is buried in Southeast Lawn Cemetery in Elk Grove. He was 22. David L. Felt was a PFC in the United States Marine Corps as a field artillery cannoneer with Battery E, 2nd Battalion, 12th Marine Regiment, 3rd Marine Division. David died on August 17, 1965 of hostile action in Quanam Province after one month in country and was awarded the Purple Heart. He grew up in Florin and was in the class of 1965. David is buried in the Golden Gate National Cemetery in San Bruno. He was 19. 
Joseph A. Galvez was a PFC in the United States Army as a light weapons infantryman in Company B, 4th Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, 9th Infantry Division. Joe died September 18, 1968, of hostile action, small arms fire, in Kian Ho Province after four months in country and was awarded the Purple Heart and Bronze Star. He grew up in Florin and was in the class of 1965. Joe is buried in St. Mary's Catholic Cemetery in Sacramento. He was 21. Rodney D. Martinez III was a Lance Corporal in the United States Marine Corps as a motor vehicle operator in Company B, 3rd Motor Transport Battalion, 3rd Marine Division. Rodney died on December 2, 1967 in Quantian Province after eight months in country. He grew up in Florin and was in the class of 1965. Rodney is buried in the Desert Lawn Memorial Park in Yuma, Arizona. He was 20. Theodore T. Maison Jr. was a Specialist 4 in the United States Army as a field artilleryman in Battery B, 2nd Battalion, 11th Artillery Regiment. Jr. died March 18, 1968 from Burns in Quan Ai Province after four months in country and was awarded the Purple Heart. He grew up in Florin and was in the class of 1965. Junior is buried in St. Mary's Catholic Cemetery in Sacramento. He was 22. Raymond G. Villapondo was a Specialist 4 in the United States Army as a light weapons infantryman in Company B, 5th Battalion, 12th Infantry Regiment, 199th Infantry Brigade. Raymond died June 8, 1968 of hostile action multiple fragment wounds in Biandong province after two months in country and was awarded the Purple Heart. He went to Florin and Elk Grove Elementary Schools and was in the class of 1965. Raymond is buried in St. Mary's Catholic Cemetery in Sacramento. He was 21. Dennis E. Lane was a corporal in the United States Army as a pioneer engineering and construction in Company B, 15th Engineering Battalion, 1st Brigade, 9th Infantry Division. Dennis died February 25, 1968 of hostile action in the Antoine province after seven months in country and was awarded the Purple Heart and Bronze Star. He went to Dillard Elementary and was in the class of 1966. Dennis is buried in Sierra Hills Memorial Park in Sacramento. He was 19. Dennis R. Langrock was a PFC in the United States Marine Corps as a rifleman in Company C, 1st Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division. Dennis died February 13, 1968 of hostile action, small arms fire in Toa Tien Province after five months in country and was awarded two Purple Hearts with Gold Star. He grew up in Florin and was in the class of 1966. Dennis is buried in Sierra Hills Memorial Park in Sacramento. He was 19. Michael M. Cox was a sergeant in the United States Army as an aircraft maintenance crewman in Company B, 158th Assault Helicopter Battalion, 101st Aviation Group of the 101st Airborne Division. Michael died September 3, 1969, of helicopter air casualty in Quan Am province after seven months in country and was awarded the Air Medal and a Bronze Star. He grew up in Carmichael and was in the class of 1967. Michael is buried in Mount Vernon Memorial Park in Fair Oaks. He was 20. Roy W. Graham was a PFC in the United States Army as an infantryman with Company C, 1st Battalion, 52nd Infantry, 198th Infantry Brigade of the AmeriCal Division. Roy died on May 20, 1969 of hostile action in Quan Ai Province after three months in country and was awarded a Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. He attended Sierra Enterprise Elementary and was in the class of 1966. He was married with a three-month-old daughter. Roy is buried in Cherokee Memorial Park in Lodi. He was 20. Gary P. Rader was a Specialist 4 in the United States Army as a power plant operator mechanic in the 62nd Signal Company, 37th Signal Brigade, 12th Signal Group. Gary died May 7, 1970 in Quan Ai Province after 11 months in country and was awarded a Bronze Star. 
He grew up in Elk Grove and was in the class of 1967. Gary is buried in Quiet Haven Memorial Park Cemetery in Sacramento. He was 20. C. Earl Fife was a PFC in the United States Army as an infantry indirect fire crewman in the headquarters company of 2nd Battalion, 4th Infantry Regiment, 10th Mountain Division. Earl died August 18, 1971 during a training mission when his helicopter exploded at a thousand feet altitude in Pignix, Germany. He grew up in Elk Grove and was in the class of 1968. Earl is buried in Quiet Haven Memorial Park Cemetery in Sacramento. He was 20. Kenneth E. Asno was a PFC in the United States Army as an armor crewman in I Troop 3rd Quadrant 11th Armored Cavalry. Kenneth died on April 22, 1970 of hostile action in Bien Duong Province after three months in country and was awarded the Purple Heart. He grew up in Florin and was in the class of 1968. Kenneth is buried in the East Lawn Southgate Cemetery in Elk Grove. He was 19. John G. Melkor was a Lance Corporal in the United States Marine Corps as an assaultman in Company K, 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines, 1st Marine Division. John died September 19, 1970 of grenade detonation in Quanam Province after seven months in country. He grew up in Florin and was in the class of 1969. John is buried in the Golden Gate National Cemetery in San Bruno. He was 19. The Gulf Wars. Joseph Charles Nure was a sergeant in the United States Army, Army Reserve 463rd Engineer Battalion. He grew up in Dillard, was in the Elk Grove High School class of 2001 and attended CSU Sacramento before joining the Army National Guard. Joe died August 21, 2005 when a makeshift bomb detonated near his tractor during convoy operations near Samara, Iraq. Joe was awarded the Bronze Star and Purple Heart. He is buried in the Pleasant Grove Cemetery in Elk Grove. He was 22. Tybonius Ty Johnson was a specialist in the Army, 2nd Battalion, 320th Field Artillery Regiment, 1st Brigade Combat Team, 101st Airborne Division. He was the older of twin boys, grew up in Utah, and graduated from Jordan High School in Sandy, Utah. Ty enlisted in the Army in Elk Grove. He was married with two children. Ty died April 4, 2006, when an improvised device detonated near his Humvee in combat operations in Kirkuk, Iraq. He is buried in the Midvale City Cemetery in Midvale, Utah. He was 28. Isaac S. Lawson was a Sergeant First Class in the United States Army National Guard. He was in the 49th Military Police Brigade, was married with three daughters. He was in the Elk Grove High School class of 1989 and was a standout track sprinter. Isaac died June 5, 2006 of injuries sustained when an improvised explosive device detonated near his Humvee during combat operations near Camp Victor in Baghdad, Iraq. Isaac was awarded the Purple Heart and is buried in the Sacramento Memorial Lawn Cemetery. He was 35. Brian Edward Hall was a Sergeant First Class with the United States Army Company A, 1st Battalion, 67th Armor, 2nd Brigade Combat Team. He grew up in Elk Grove and was in the Elk Grove High School Class of 1994. Brian died on April 10, 2009 in Mosul, Iraq, when he purposefully maneuvered his combat vehicle to intercept a suicide bomber intent on attacking a police compound. As detailed in military records, Brian's actions saved hundreds of lives. He is buried in the Pleasant Grove Cemetery in Elk Grove. He was 32. Ray A. Ramirez was a specialist in the Army, 3rd Battalion, 15th Infantry Regiment, 4th Infantry Brigade Combat Team, 3rd Infantry Division. In March 2011, after graduating from Florin High School, Ray declined a scholarship to play Division I college baseball and instead chose to enlist in the Army. Ray died June 1, 2013, 
when an improvised explosive device detonated in combat operations in Wardick, Afghanistan. He was awarded the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. Ray is interred at the Sacramento Valley National Cemetery in Solano County. He was 20.